America, we need to have a talk. What is going to happen after this pandemic? Right now, I'm going to give you some predictions and an educated opinion on how this thing is going to shape up. First of all, the economy is going to continue to tank and employers are going to continue to lay off people. And with this, there are some of you who are going to resent being laid off. Some of you are going to be very, very angry. Some of you are going to be at wit's end. You worked for this employer. You did what you need to do. Because here's the thing. There are some companies that are benefiting from this pandemic. They are having high efficiency. They're making more money. And they figured out that if they get rid of you, they can make more money and increase profitability and stay in business. And I know that's a sour, sour thing to say, but that is starting to happen. Right now, there is this um, really diametrically opposed relationship between employers and employees. The employees are trying to get as much money as possible. The employers are trying not to pay you the, the least amount of money possible. And let me tell you what is coming next. Hey, if this is your first time here, I want you to go to my 30 days to 2500 side business course and also get the hustlers mindset pimping your mind for success audiobook and course this will both of these things are going to put some money in your pocket and give you a stronger mindset all right let's talk about employment after the pandemic we're going to go through this for about three to four years because as i said in the earlier video one of the things that, where we can get back to normal is if there's a vaccine create it, or I should say when the vaccine is created. And once we can all take the vaccine, this is going to open up a lot of doors, but we're looking at three to four years before that happens. And what's going to happen in the meantime is the relationship between employer and employees is going to deteriorate. And this is why the companies that make it through this are going to be fat, fine, and fancy. They're going, you, you thought working conditions sucked before this happened? Oh, let me tell you what's going to happen because these companies are going to get rich. They're going to be in the position to dictate and what's they're, and they're, they're going to know there's so many people out there that need a job. So wages are going to go down. Now, why is this bad? Recently, the last four or five years, wages were starting to go up after pretty much being remaining stagnant for 40 years. And this is why 53% of America makes less than $33,000 a year, and it's about to get worse. What we're going to have is an emerging underclass. We're going to have a lot of people who are going to be stuck in gig jobs, low wage jobs, jobs with no career tra trajectory, and it's just going to get bad for those people. We're going to have essentially a society of people who really have it, good jobs, good money, good credit, good cars, good house, and the folks who don't. The polarization between the classes is about to become way more distinct. And if you, because I'm also going to give you a solution, because I'm here to not only to educate you, America, to let you know what's going on, but also to give you solutions, because right now, is an incredible opportunity for you. I know it doesn't seem that way, but I will explain what happened to me. I was where many of you are. I was in a situation where I didn't have any money. I was in a situation where I was homeless temporarily. And this was the genesis that shaped my future. Because I went through so much financial and personal pain, it motivated me to change who I was because the, the pain was so great. I mean, it was pain when I went to work. It was pain when I came home. So I began to self-educate myself and I began to learn new skills. And this is how I got out of it. Now, America, this is your opportunity. I know you are like looking around. If you're one of these unfortunate souls who's lost their job, I mean, I feel for you, but Right now is the time for you to buckle down like you've never buckled down before. And this is the time for you to learn new skills because what's going to happen after the pandemic ain't going to be pretty. For about three years on this channel, I've been educating people about the fake ass American economy. Before the pandemic, 
there was millions of people who were behind on their car payments. Before the pandemic, there was millions of people behind on their credit cards. Before the pandemic, there were many people who were suffering economically before the pandemic. Now, after the pandemic, we're going to have some crazy stuff because you're going to go for a job and the job, once again, the companies to survive this, the companies that make money, that have smart management teams, they're going to know what the calculus is because unemployment is going to be 10 to 15 percent for a few years. And they know that there's so many people who will do that job for little or nothing because they need money. America. I want you to be positioning yourself because right now, I understand you've got a lot of things thrown at you. You've got your husband, your wife, your kids, this economic uncertainty. You've got limited savings or if you're in a really bad case, you have no savings. You have no money. You don't know what's going to happen. America, this is the time to dig deep. This is the time to begin to put some stuff together. I'm going to give you a blueprint on what you need to do because these employers are not going to care about you. They're not going to care about your problems. They're not going to care about your children. They're not going to care because they're going to be like the pretty girl at the prom. Everybody wants her and they know it. You know, one of the worst things is dealing with a chick who's very attractive. She knows she's attractive and she knows she has a multitude of options. This is how these employers are going to act regarding you. They know what position they're going to be in. The ability to give someone a job and put income in their life is going to be godlike power. Right now, there's godlike power that you could give someone a job and actually change their economic life. So, what is one to do? I know that many of you are going to tune me out after this, but I'm going to speak on it anyway. You need to start your own business. You need to start your business. You need to get away from working in their business because as long as you are a corporate slave, an economic pawn, you will be disposed of as needed. Well, we want to raise our profitability. If we cut 10,000 people, so be it. You don't want to be in that situation anymore. I hopefully this pandemic has taught you some things because I understand that many of the employers had no choice. The states and the Fed told them to shut down. But take this as a learning lesson. Take this as something that you needed to go through. Take this as a building situation because you've got two choices. You can sit at home, you can mope and whine and cry and you can complain on Facebook or you can get busy. Now, here is the good news. Right now, there are so many resources online that will help you build a business. And many of them are free and many of them are really, really cheap. And you should take advantage of these resources. I'm giving you a course, 30 days to 2,500, which will help you start a side business. Take advantage. Because I'm gonna tell you a story that happened years and years ago. It happened with my first digital product. I was selling, you know, my first digital product was making money A to Z with self storage room auctions. It was a book on how to buy storage auctions because that's my claim to fame. That's how I got here. And I got this letter from a guy named Morris with this email. And Morris said, gee, I got laid off today. And I hit him back. I'm sorry to hear that. And he said, don't be. Because Morris, prior, two years prior to being laid off, he bought my book and he became a storage auction buyer. And he said, oh man, this is the best thing ever. I'm going to get a package. I'm going to get unemployment. And I make more money doing storage auctions than I did working my job. I want that to be your story, America. I want you to go out and build something and serve your fellow man. I got a few principles here. Like, you know, Forex traders, day traders, I, they come on this channel and they're like, oh, it's the best thing ever. The, the reality is, most people who try Forex and day trading fail. The majority and even the successful day traders and Forex traders lose more than they win. I've looked it up. I posted on Facebook, you know, when, when people are being honest and, you know, I even have a video on why it's so hard to make money day trading and Forex. However, when you provide a service or product for your fellow man, 
making money becomes dramatically easier. So what you need to do is go ahead, get 30 days to 2,500, start getting your ideals in your head, start percolating, start thinking of a way that you can start to make some money, America. Start of the business, because see, once again, the corporate climate is going to be so hostile to the employee after the pandemic, it's going to be ridiculous. Right now, we have hospitals that are laying off nurses and doctors, and this is something I thought I would never ever see because all of the hospitals got set for the pandemic and they stopped their elective surgeries and they're hemorrhaging money and they're starting to get rid of essential staff at the time that we're really going to need these staffs because here's something else in japan and in japan and china they're having well mostly china they're having clusters of new infections and they're locking down provinces. And I feel that this is something that's gonna to happen to America, except we're not gonna lock down. We're gonna press forward. We're gonna keep going, regardless of the health carnage that happens, because the people in power have predicted, they've run the numbers. They know how expensive this could be. They know that if we get into a situation where our GDP is less than our national debt, we're going to be in a very, very bad situation. We're going to be in harm's way. We're going to be in an incredibly deep, dark space. And they're going to resist this. And like I said in earlier videos, if the Democrats win the Senate and the presidency, the stimulus checks will be coming. And I think that will provide some relief for America. I know that many folks, but at that point, how many months are you going to be behind on your mortgage? How many months are you going to be behind on your car payment? How many months are you going to be behind on your student loans? I want you to think about that because at the end of the day, those things will have to be addressed and handled. And this is why I am urging you America to start your own business. In the beginning, it's going to be rough. Just keep it straight because you have been not trained or educated to run a business but you need to learn how, because this is gonna be your saving grace, because I'm here to tell you, after the pandemic, after the corporate tricking, the corporate pimping, it's gonna be so epic. It's gonna be ridiculous. You think that your working conditions sucked before? They're gonna get dramatically worse, because she's gonna, the, the employers are gonna be the pretty girl. The employers are gonna be able to do what they want. They're gonna, they're gonna be able to, dictate, pick, refuse, and choose. Because there's gonna be so many people out there who are gonna be hungry. They're gonna be hungry for money. And many of these people are gonna be physically hungry. I know when I mention this, there's some people who's like, well, they can go to a food bank and get rice and beans and sausages. Everybody don't have access to a food bank. Everyone doesn't have those things. And as a person who went through it, I remember nights where I went to bed hungry. I didn't have money for food. I remember that. I remember needing to have dental work and I couldn't get it. I remember going through that pain. And that's where this new social underclass is going to emerge. There are going to be people. It's going to reset American culture. It's going to reset American values. And you're going to see the, probably the first trillionaire. We're going to see someone who's going to be so fantastically wealthy that they will have more money than probably 50% of America. I want you to think about that. One individual with more money than half the country. This is going to happen because of technology and the efficiencies. And oh, this is something else that's going to happen after the pandemic. Many of your jobs that you had and many of your careers are going to be eliminated because of AI and technology. You thought AI and technology was eating the world before this? Oh, it is about to take dramatic steps and increase dramatically. One of the things I want you guys to understand, one of the things that you should take deep, deep to heart, that how easily you were let go. Were you mission critical? I want you to think about that. Essential workers are still working. There are certain people who are still working, but you're not working. Or you or you lay in bed at night and you are terrified of what's going to come. You don't understand 
what's coming, but I'm, I'm here to tell you, AI and automation are about to take over the world. You may actually, because I figured that driverless, you know, driverless cars and trucks were about 15 to 20 years off. I think that's going to accelerate because right now trucking is taking a bath. There are many truckers, you know, you come in on the channel, you let me know. And all the guys are saying freight is slow. Freight is slow. Prices are slow. That, I mean, essentially the pimping of America is, has begun. Because even in this pandemic, there are astute business people who have figured out a way to milk this situation. They're going to milk it. And part of the milk in this situation is the abuse of you. You're going to get abused. Right now on YouTube, I have a video talking about internet pimping. You know, the stimulus check pimping. Right now, you're being pimped. Right now. And many of you like the pimping because you need hope. And I, I want to offer you a broader solution, a broader situation. I want you to really dig deep down and, and figure out what kind of business you can start. I really do. Now, starting a business literally saved my life. I've had all types of situations, but at every twist and turn, that business has always taken care of me. It has taken care of me. It's allowed me to save a lot of money. It's allowed me to position myself where I can weather this thing financially very easily. That only happened because of a business. That didn't happen because of a job. I've been a business owner and self-employed longer than I've ever worked in these jobs. I've crossed that juncture and I'm going to tell you it's incredibly liberating. It's, you know, in, in the beginning, it's going to be tough. I'm not going to lie to you because you've got to reprogram yourself to get into this additional situation. And it's going to be a challenge because you were not programmed America to be a business owner. You were programmed to be a pawn. You were programmed to be a corporate slave. You were programmed to be loaded up with debt. That's your programming. And now you've got to go counter to your programming. You've got to do some things very differently. You've got to reset yourself and reprogram yourself for success because the old economy is dead. It's, it's gone. It's, it's not coming back. This new economy is going to reward people who are hustlers. It's going to reward people who are innovators. It's going to reward people who are about their business. And right now, you can become a millionaire within 10 years. If you start a business and you work very, very hard and you learn from your mistakes and you work strategically hard, I'm not going to sell you on just work hard. What's that about? You need to work strategically hard in the right direction with the right blueprint. Because I'm here to tell you, America. It ain't, it's, it's gonna be some cold, lean years for many families after this. We're all right now dealing with this pandemic. We're all right now dealing with this situation. We're dealing with many, many things. However, America, there is light at the end of the tunnel if you get your mentality together and also go ahead and get 30 days to 2,500 Go ahead get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. And if you're still in the position, because I understand that many of you have no money. Many of you are looking where your next meal is going to come from. But if you're in the position, go ahead and get the money management course. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sending out offers because I have a new course that I'm working on, how to make money from scratch. And it's going to be very different. It's going to be a complimentary course to the hustlers, it's going to be a comp to 30 days to 2,500, 30 days to 2,500. I created that in 2014 and I'm about to refresh it up because I'm about to give you an ideal. Well, I'm going to say that for the course, but there's going to be so many economic opportunities for people who are looking right now. There is an economic opportunity that is going to be large for probably the next 10 years that you don't even know about, that you ain't even thinking about because you're not in where the spaces that I'm in. 
you're not looking at things the way that I look at things. But I'm about to tell you, there's going to be a massive opportunity for people who are hustlers, handy with their hands, because there's going to be so many opportunities. Because even with 30% unemployment, 70% of the people still have jobs. And these 70% of the people are still going to need products and services. Take advantage. Set yourself up where you can win. And I'm going to tell you, America, you're looking at a three year journey. Now, why is this important? Because I'm not going to lie to you. I am just, just another guy on the internet, but I'm going to tell you the truth. When you start a business, there's so many things that you will have to learn to acclimate yourself to, to become seasoned. It's a two to three year journey for most people. Now, what did I just tell you? This thing is going to go on for two to three years. So while this thing is going on, you can be building skills and getting money and setting yourself up nice to come out clean on the other side. Because there are many people who are talking about we're going to have a V-shaped reco recovery. Donald Trump saying the third quarter, the fourth quarter, we're going to break free 2021. I I'm, here, I'm here to tell you it ain't going to happen. And I'm going to give you some facts of why it's not going to happen. Right now, companies are still laying off. We're still going down. How can we come up when we're still going down? We have not bottomed out yet. This month, I'm going to be very interested in looking at the unemployment numbers because unemployment is higher than what you're being told because there are so many people. I watch the videos on YouTube. I read news articles. There are so many people who have been laid off going on two months who have not been able to contact their state's Department of Labor and get their unemployment benefits. They haven't been able to get through. We could literally be at 30% unemployment right now. Right now. You might be one of those people who are unemployed, who are frustrated, who are disgusted, who are scared. You don't know what you're going to do. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. You're going to self-educate. You're going to start taking this, all of this free time that you have. Don't sit and think about your situation. I've been there, man. I know what it is, America. When you just sit and stew on your situation and it, it just gets bad, it becomes this heavy, heavy coat, this heavy, wet coat that just brings you down. Start reading positive affirmations. Start working on your goals. Start your side business. Because one of the things that you guys have got to understand and one of the things you need to learn is right now there's opportunity for those who are willing to work. There's so much opportunity for those who are willing to dig deep. There, there's opportunity for you, America. There's so much opportunity for you. And I want you to win because I'm here to tell you after this pandemic, it is not going to be pretty for employment. There are going to be some people who have great skills who will be in high demand and they'll be the darlings of the employment world and they have multiple offers and they'll be treated very specially. But the average person is going to catch hell. The average person is going to see a dramatic increase in wages because if you experience long term layoffs, you will see your wages impacted for decades. And this is why this is where I was when I was 32. And this is when I ended up homeless. And in a way, it was kind of a godsend because what it did, it forced me to accelerate. Because I would not be where I am today if that experience had never happened. Because it changed me. It shaped me. Just like this experience is changing you, America. Just like this experience is changing you. Right now, you are got heavy things on your mind. And if you still have a job, you're wondering, am I going to keep my job? And if you don't have a job, you're wondering, when am I going to get another job? And if you are unemployed, you're wondering, when am I going to get my unemployment? And for those special group of people out there who are making more money on unemployment, enjoy yourselves because it's going to be temporary. This is not going to go on for years unless the Democrats get the Senate. Then, yes, this could go on. And there's a very good chance because, America, you're angry right now. You're mad right now. You're pissed off because you're, you feel abandoned. Where were our leaders? Why did this thing happen? Why did it get so bad? Why did I lose my job? Why am I don't have any money? Why can't I eat? I understand you're angry, America. 
you're very, very angry. And this anger is probably going to come out in the polls because I am waiting to see what happens with the next set of elections. Because I feel that America, you're going to, for, for the first time in a long time, you're going to vote in your best interest. You're not going to vote in so sort of special interest. You're not going to vote on a ideology. You're going to vote for people who are trying to give you some money. So it's going to be very different. It's going to be a very different calculus. It's going to be a very different situation. But America, what I want you to do is prepare. I want you to listen to me. Listen to me. I have been where you are. And I am not where there, I'm not there anymore because I followed my own advice. Get new skill sets, start a side business, join me in making money because the opportunity is there for those who are willing to hustle. If you're a lazy do nothing, there's nothing I can say that can do anything for you. If you have no ambition, no drive, you don't want to do anything, there's nothing I can do for you. But if you are ready, if you are set up, go ahead and prepare. Go ahead and get the free courses. Start, and don't just get the courses because they're free. Get the courses, do the work, make the money. Make the money, America. Because you're gonna have a choice in the future. You could be a second or third class citizen or you could be one of the first class citizens. The first class citizens are gonna be the people with the money. The first class citizens are going to be the people with the good jobs. The second and third class citizens or the fourth class citizens are going to be people on social benefits. They're going to be the people living in substandard housing. They're going to be the people who are not living well. I don't want that to be you, America. I want you to eat well, sleep well, drive well, and live well. So watch this video two or three times. And I will see you guys in the next one. And there's a good video here. You should check it out.